Hi guys, Larissa here with May Arts Ribbon Wednesday, and today I wanted to share with you um, how to make a cute card, a friend card, and we're going to be using um, the new Imagine S. Um, I think it's like the best friend line. Um, I forget what the name of the line is, but it's super, super cute. Um, I love the bright colors. I love all the, the, the fun images. Um, these are the stacked stickers. So you can see they kind of have some dimension to them. Um, these are the chipboard stickers. I love all of the fun little sayings and just the fun little images. Um, and then I have the um, snagum stamps. Um, and I actually won uh, this collection on their blog, um, so I wanted to use this today to share with you guys. And then we're also going to be using the uh, Lifestyle Crafts uh, envelope die set. Um, and so I wanted to share with you how to make a fun little envelope. Um, and there's actually two different sizes. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to share with you guys some cards that I've made. Um, I am new to my favorite things, and I love this little girl. Um, this is the Pure Innocence uh, stamp line that they have. Um, and I actually added uh, the little bunny ears to her from a different Pure Innocence stamp, uh, the Fairy stamp. Um, and I made this into a fun little birthday card. I pieced together crepe paper uh, papers, um, but all of the dies that were used, the little ticket die, uh, and then the fun little uh, crayon die, and then the doily die are all my favorite things. Um, and then this is the actual fairy uh, little girl. Um, Normally the wings are attached right here, and I just cut them off and then added them for little bunny ears. Um, so I was going to give these away for uh, Easter. Um, and then I made a May Art uh, Ribbon Daisy and added uh, my favorite things, little rolled dye, uh, felt flower. And then they just came out with these new zigzag uh, border dies and I love them so you can make your own harlot or your own own chevron pattern um, and then I also wanted to share some cards that I've made using uh, the craft the crafts meow stamps um, this is their so lovely stamp set um, and I used some may arts ribbon uh, gingham little edged ribbon uh, for the border and it props up uh, the little thing and then I made a little frame out of the stamped images and added my dress and then I just cut out the little flowers from the my mind's eye paper collection you can see this little flower right here is the flower that I cut and then one of the purple ones is on the bottom um, but I made that cute little card, and then I also made this little card for Easter using the Band-Aid uh, stamp in that collection. And if you go to the Crafts Meow blog, um, they have fun little challenges each month. And then um, on their Facebook page, they actually posted this the other day. Um, for my cute idea so I was super excited about that but I just added a handle and then I used the balloon in the same stamp set to make the little eggs and then added some um, of the new little twine so anyway there are those um, and let's get started first um, I wanted to share with you the die cuts from the Lifestyle Crafts envelope die. This is the large envelope. And then there's also this little baby envelope. And you also get this little inside uh, little piece. And I've just put it on here to show. You can put it on the outside or you could use it for, um, if you cut it, you know, twice with the edge of the paper to make a little card to go on the inside. Um, and then when you fold it up, you have this cute little two and three-fourths uh, little 
envelope and I thought this would be cute to give um, on packages. Um, here's another one that I cut out and I just used the My Mind's Eye uh, paper and cut out the image that was on the corner of the paper and then added it to the envelope and I just think that is so sweet. Um, so you could add that to a gift. Um, the, this is the inside uh, piece um, and you can use this to fit inside this envelope um, either as a card or on the outside for the label. So we're going to use this for a label um, and then I've added one of the Imagine S stickers. Um, these are the other two labels that come in that set. Um, and I'm going to layer this. This is a Maginus paper. I love this paper. And on the other side, it has cute little handbags. Um, but I'm just going to add this on top. This is the white piece, and we're going to add this for our address information on the outside of the envelope. You also get these other little pieces, and this is what I said could fit inside the little envelope. Um, if you cut it twice, you could make a little card uh, base. And then it also has some fun little, uh, this is a little scallop circle, and then the little circle to fit in the center, or this little scallop. And I just love these. I think these are super, super cute. So anyway, we're going to get started. Um, first, I wanted to use the um, Snagum stamp, the little Daisy Snagum stamp. And we're going to add some stamping to this uh, outside image here. And I'm actually just going to take the back side of this and place this over so I don't get any ink on my piece. And I just want to stamp these flowers here on the corner of this. And then I think I want to add some over here in this other corner. So I'll stamp this. Hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, and we'll stamp again up here in this right-hand corner. All right. Oh, I love those flowers. They are so cute. Then we're going to add our label. And I wish, you know what? I wish I would have got those closer. I might try to re-stamp this flower set up here in the corner because I'm a perfectionist. And the clear stamps, this is so easy to do. Um, so I'm going to line that up again and try to stamp one more time to finish those flowers. So I have to line this up here. All right, well, I got a little bit of a layer, but that's okay. I still like the way that it looks. And actually, we might come in on this other one and do a layer just to make it look like we meant to do that. So. All right, there we go. Now it looks like we meant to do that. All right, so I'm just going to take some glue and I'm just going to glue this down. And this is going to be our address label um, when we mail this. And then we'll write on this white piece. Actually, I might flower coming off the bottom. I kind of like that. Okay. Let me zoom back out here. All right. So here we have our little piece. And we're just going to take our envelope and glue the little tabs right here. And glue this together. And then we will 
stick this right on the front of our envelope like that and we have a really cute envelope to send in the mail and then we can make our card and we'll put our card on the inside and sometimes I love how projects go you can't always you know control everything but I love how that looks I think it looks super super cute and then you can add the address where you're sending it and your address up here on the sticker and then we'll make a fun little card um, this like I said was the little label uh, die and I just added it to the corner of my paper and made a card so now this card will fit perfectly on the inside of our envelope um, and with the dies help, it just made it super, super easy to do. And then I took some of the pattern paper. This is a really fun uh, houndstooth paper. And then um, it's border strips on the other side. Um, so we're just going to add this to the front of our card. And I had a hard time cutting this up, the borders up because I like them so much, but... I can always get another piece if I decide I want one. That's why a lot of the papers that are two-sided, you almost have to get two pieces because when one piece, when you cut one piece up, you ruin the other side as well. All right, and this is just a cardstock uh, piece from that line. And I'm just going to add this right on top of the hound's tooth. And then what I'm going to do is take um, May Art's little bow ribbon and I'm going to add that onto the little bat handbag where the flower is. And then, um, and I didn't want to add too much bulk to this card because it will be going through the mail. Um, so I wanted to kind of make it um, mailer friendly and then I'm just going to take a turquoise little button and add that right to the top of that just like that and I think that is so cute it's something that um, you know isn't a whole lot but it's enough to add some cute dimension and actually I think I'm gonna have to use pop dots because the liquid glue isn't working so I'm just going to add some pop dots onto my button here and add that onto the bow and then I'll add the bow onto the card front. Alrighty. Then what we're going to do is take some silk ribbon and this is one fourth inch silk ribbon and we're just going to take this at the top of our card and we will make a fun little bow over here in the corner. And I didn't want to make this bulk too bulky so that's why we're going to go with the smaller ribbon. But I still wanted to add a fun layer of dimension here. Alright, I think we'll slide this over just a little bit and we'll cut off the edges and there is our super 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 cute card. We'll add this on and there you have a beautiful set to send to a friend um, and a cute little envelope to mail it in. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you'll come back next week for another May Arts Ribbon Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a fabulous, fabulous day.